Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdaybiya Palace. The cabinet discussed the availability of basic commodities following measures taken to ensure the supply of goods and stability of market prices in light of international developments that have affected global energy supplies. The cabinet stressed the importance of monitoring the prices and the availability of basic commodities and thanked the concerned authorities and local merchants who have ensured the availability of goods at reasonable prices. The cabinet noted the positive economic indicators achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain across multiple sectors, which have resulted in extraordinary outcomes for the kingdom's economy. This follows the Cabinet's review of a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the Kingdom's Economic Report for 2022. The report indicated that the non-oil sector contributed to GDP at constant prices was recorded at 83.1%, the highest figure in Bahrain's history. This reflects the strength of the Kingdom's public-private partnership and its effects in developing non-oil economic sectors. The report also revealed real GDP grew by 4.9% in 2022 compared to the previous year, which is the highest real GDP growth rate since 2013. This was driven by the non-oil sector, which grew by 6.2%, the highest growth rate recorded over the past 10 years, thus exceeding the 5% real growth target set in the economic recovery plan. In light of the 78th anniversary of the founding of the League of Arab States, LAS, the cabinet commended the LAS on their role in furthering pan-Arab cooperation. The Cabinet approved a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the approval of a draft budget for the 2023-2024 to fiscal year. They also referred a draft law for approval for the Council of Representatives in accordance with legal and constitutional frameworks. In preparing the draft of the 2023-2024 to state budget, certain mechanisms were taken into account, including the need to maintain financial stability and economic growth, to create quality opportunities for citizens, and develop financial and economic support programs aimed at efficiently directing subsidies to eligible citizens. The 2023 to 2024 draft commits to implementing the economic recovery plan by achieving a balance between revenues and expenditures while managing public expenses and diversifying revenue sources and developing the performance, quality and sustainability of government services. Based on a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Labour, the Cabinet reviewed the latest economic recovery plan, employment and training developments and expressed gratitude and appreciation to the companies that contributed to the highest employment rates. In particular, their successful role in implementing employment initiatives within the economic recovery plan from January to March 2023. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports the 155th session of the Ministerial Council of the GCC, the outcomes of participation in the UN conferences on the implementation of the objectives of the International Decade for Action on Water for Sustainable Development, the outcomes of the official visit of the Minister of Industry and Commerce to the Republic of India, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the majlises of the Kano family, the chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh and Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Dahrani. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to implementing plans and programs that advance economic development and create quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens in line with the vision and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
He noted the strength of public-private partnerships in furthering investment projects and the importance of utilizing technological advancements to bolster the kingdom's various development paths. His Royal Highness exchanged blessings with the hosts and guests of the Majlises in honor of the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan. He highlighted the important role that the Holy Month plays in upholding the noble values and teachings of Islam that have underpinned the kingdom's strong social fabric for generations. He emphasized that the kingdom has excelled in overcoming a wide range of global challenges, thanks to the leadership of His Majesty the King and the determination of Bahraini citizens. The Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for the visit and hailed His Royal Highness's noble engagement with Bahrainis in their Ramadan Majlises across the Kingdom's governorates. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials.
The member of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif Al Mahmoud, expressed pride in attending the official opening of Egypt's Islamic Cultural Center at the new administrative capital in the presence of President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. Dr. Abdul Latif Al Mahmoud described the center as a cultural, intellectual, and religious monument that affirms Egypt's position as a beacon of science and enlightened, moderate thought throughout the ages, as it embraces Al Azhar al Sharif and is visited by all those seeking knowledge and enlightened thought from all over the Islamic world. He commended Egypt's pivotal role in the region, being the cornerstone of security and stability of the Arab world, noting that it has laid the foundations for human fraternity, coexistence, and dialogue among religions. He also stressed that Egypt's strength and progress are the strength and progress of all Arab countries. Livestock traders in Bahrain have confirmed the availability of large quantities of meat with a variety of options to meet the needs of consumers throughout the holy month of Ramadan. Market traders said that they have completed all preparations through their exhibits, which were imported from several countries. Due to the increased demand for the purchase of various types of meat during Ramadan at varying prices that satisfy all consumers. In addition, the kingdom make, made it easier for livestock traders and granted import permits according to the system and the unified veterinary uh, quarantine law and its executive regulations and the necessary maintenance work for the veterinary quarantine with emphasis on full compliance with all procedures. Bahrain expanded the veterinary quarry by increasing the capacity by 3,000 sheep, bringing the total capacity to 9,500 in the markets. Shipments have been doubled to cover the needs of consumers during the holy month in addition to mobilizing all its preparations according to their requirements and at competitive prices from various sources. In light of the increasing demand on agricultural uh, crops and the shopper's preference for the local product, the Bahraini farmer's market opens its doors during the first three weeks of the holy month of Ramadan. More in this report. The opening of the Bahraini farmer's market in the month of Ramadan came in light of the continuation of the harvest season for farmers to provide platforms to market the products of Bahraini farmers and support them to be partners in achieving local sufficiency in vegetables, especially in the month of Ramadan, which witnesses a demand for the movement of buying vegetables of all kinds. In response to the increasing demands of market visitors, participating farmers and productive families, it was decided to continue the market activities for the first three weeks of the holy month of Ramadan. The farmers participating in the market activities were keen to highlight the abundant quantities of their farm's production in light of the great demand for agricultural crops. This year, the market activities are witnessing a great turnout from visitors of various nationalities, whose number has so far exceeded 200,000 visitors since its launch in the current season. The One Billion Meals Endowments campaign launched by the Vice President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai in conjunction with the holy month of Ramadan achieved contributions amounting to 247 million dirhams a week after its launch from more than 13,000 donors from major stakeholders, individuals, companies and institutions of the government and private sectors.